How's it going everyone? In this video we're covering all the new changes that got added on Apple CarPlay because iOS 26 Beta 7 got released this morning and let's go ahead and check out and see what's new and of course I'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the description down below for your pleasure. So along with this update we also received the beta version update for Beta 7 for developers for the iPad, iPad OS, the iPhone of course, Watch OS, TV OS, Mac OS, Everything's right there on the side of the screen, including the build number for those products. But here, we have it installed on our iPhone, and we're checking out all the new changes that I noticed on Apple CarPlay. So one of the new dramatic changes can be actually located in the settings. The setting layout is slightly different, uh, it seems. Because if we go into the accessibility tab, it was a lot bigger and more broad, like, larger as you're seeing it right here let me turn off the wall display but in this section it looks like they kind of made it smaller if that makes sense but that's where i noticed a new change because this is how it used to look like it used to be more like larger with the border outline underneath than this one i don't know uh, either i'm just overlooking things but that's one thing i noticed small minor changes there but in the physical and motor section right here in the accessibility tab the description here has also been tweaked, letting users understand more exactly how the voice control functionality actually works, which is quite nice. But other than that, sound recognition and stuff like that, maybe they updated this as well. But everything here remained the same. I didn't see any new features here get added. But I do want to say the setting outline layout has been slightly enhanced. But one thing I didn't notice, when it comes to opening apps, it has like the iPad animation now which just does that little zoom in zoom out effect so that's now available on apple carplay each time when you close and open an app as the animation is slightly different too if you look at the icon it does the glowing outline in terms of apple maps i notice there's some comments saying their vehicle doesn't support the pinch and zoom see and check and see if it works now because each time there's a new beta update more manufacturers are now enabling this on their vehicle and this finally now works whenever you have navigation running as well or you can now pinch and zoom as you're driving however a thing i have noticed let me go ahead and end this real quick if you're using like google maps as an example google maps is updating their map system layout because right here you can kind of see that we do have the liquid display right here on setting but it's not properly laid out because my uh north south east you know compass directions right here there you go now fade away it kind of overlaps the uh, tool preference but if you do notice it does have the liquid glass which is quite nice but as of yet google hasn't updated their app to support the multi like pinch and zoom gesture unfortunately you still have to rely on the plus and minus and don't even get me started with the ways uh, ways users um unfortunately ways hasn't updated their app at all as you can see we don't really have like that much of a liquid glass display on these icons right here but we do have it on the top but again no pinch and zoom functionality but be patient something tells me in the next beta or once the official version of ios 26 is official release it will or it should in theory have the pinch and zoom ability now another thing i realized on apple maps is the series suggestion icon for like destinations you're constantly going to like a gym as an example in our case uh the icon is now this little dot icon it's been slightly updated now and then a neat thing you could finally now do is if you like to change any settings like disable bluetooth enable airplane mode to disconnect from carplay and stuff you can now just verbally ask siri on carplay so as an example here's this enabled low power mode Okay, I turned low power mode on. Siri literally just enabled that without me having to take my hands off the wheel and uh, manually enable it if I'm trying to squeeze battery. So that's kind of nice. In terms of Apple Music, I have noticed that the glass effect right here with the liquid glass, if you overlap it like so, it does somewhat like have that little transparency glass effect as you see right there. So that's been tweaked slightly this time as well. Same treatment we've been seeing on the iPhone side of things. Apple is indeed adding it on Apple CarPlay, which is quite nice. Now, upon using this, uh, if you go in your phone category and your phone app on Apple CarPlay, and let's play a voicemail. The icons, uh, I don't know about you, but they're glitched on my end. Hopefully Apple can resolve this bug, but yeah, the icons for my pause and play functionality when it comes to listening to voicemails on your head unit, uh, they're glitched. They're not 
displaying the uh, liquid glass animation I noticed. And then, unfortunately, during these like glass beta updates, Apple did remove some wallpapers off of this because if we go into our wallpaper tag, uh, we don't have the like the previous generation operating system wallpapers. Apple removed them and just gave us new color choices between the new iOS 26 wallpapers for CarPlay and, and just different color choices to choose from, unfortunately. No way to import wallpapers either, which is a darn shame. And then to the most important update that I've been waiting for, I'm sure we all are also waiting for this as well, is YouTube CarPlay AirPlay streaming ability where you can stream like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube in your vehicle display. Unfortunately, this update, from my experience, I have not been able to successfully stream what's playing on my iPhone to the TV in our vehicle. And the way it was supposed to work, you'll have to hit play like on a YouTube video. As the video is playing, you're able to actually hit the cast icon above here. And then you're supposed to select AirPlay, and from here, select CarPlay, and it was supposed to play on your vehicle display. Again, this update is not here. I'm not sure what's the hold up. Uh, I really hope this is not going to be locked to the manufacturer. I really hope it's just an ability for CarPlay to be able to be streamed via AirPlay to your vehicle's head units. But as of Beta 7, it's not here, and it should have been here by now. Unless there really are some bugs that just doesn't fit the Apple standards, which is why we don't have that yet. So I'll keep you guys updated as soon as it be finally becomes available or maybe only some vehicles have this ability. I'll go out my way and actually rent one on Toro and uh, show you how that functionality works. But I'm really hoping that it doesn't come down to that. This way, it'll give like old vehicles like this 2017 F-150 some modern day car tech like Tesla's can stream like YouTube and Hulu and stuff like that using their existing vehicle display. But nonetheless, I'm really hopeful at least we have this pitch and zoom ability and I'm just hoping for third party apps to also have this ability in the near future. But anyways, that about wraps up everything new for our CarPlay. Unfortunately, in the widget page, I don't have the ability to have two widgets at the same time, which is a darn shame. Again, beta one, I had the ability to run two widgets here. Even with smart zoom enabled, like I have right now, it only lets me run one widget at a time, which is a darn shame, which is really weird because I'm able to search up YouTube videos from here, but it doesn't do anything as you, you're witnessing me click right there. So, eh, interesting. Definitely does show support that YouTube is coming, but we just don't know when. It's only a matter of time. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update video. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button and like, and I'll continue updating you guys whenever we receive a beta update and keep you guys informed whenever a new change or massive change comes in in general for Apple CarPlay. If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see the quick rundown on all the new changes as well as new features that Apple integrated for iOS 26 Apple CarPlay, I did a complete video guide right over there, including those features that are coming out in the near future that aren't here yet. Thank you so much for watching.